I'm Rana Massad and this morning I am here to talk to you about what I have found interesting and fun in the community from our local vendors and from the big box stores as well. So um, I've got a few things on the, on the slate this morning. For starters, my favorite thing through this pandemic has been my finding of um, automated soap dispensers. This makes you, this, it, we moved, so let me get right to the point. We moved right in the middle of the pandemic. It was two years in the waiting. We finally got our house and um, I had movers and people coming and going with masks and the anxiety of having them in the house was daunting. I ended up getting at the garage entrance and at the front entrance, um, we have a sink in the garage, not at the front entrance, but at the sink in the garage, I put this dispenser there. I got it on Amazon and it basically gives you soap without touching it. Now the reason I, I kind of got immediately involved with Splurge Studio and said I'd really like to have that, they donate from sales to the Lakeshore General Hospital Foundation. So that's where my drive is and where my partnership with them lies. So I asked them to get on it and get us some soap dispensers that we didn't have to order from Amazon and they did. And the reason I didn't want this model was because it got all rusty and it hasn't been rusty very long. It, I mean, it hasn't been, I haven't had it long enough for it to be rusty. So it's rusty and I think I've had it a month. The one I preferred and that I asked for Judo to carry is this one here. It is the same sort of idea. Your hands, um, you're, you soon as you put your hand under it, oops, you gotta be careful because it'll keep on going if there's anything in the camera view. So it spits out the soap and um, it's automated and this one is made of a, of a plastic that doesn't doesn't uh, rust, so I prefer that. So that's at Splurge Studio. And Mason and I, Mason's four years old, and my grandson, and we do this washing together. He really enjoys washing his hands because of the automated soap dispenser. So it's kind of a good thing. Another thing I want to show those of you who have not moved recently, I'm just gonna get the soap off and get rid of that soap on my hands. And what I have found is command hooks. I didn't know about a command hook because I hadn't moved in a long time. I was 20 years in my last house. A command hook is put on by a piece of tape that doesn't destroy your walls. Luckily, I fell in love with these. My daughter put me onto them. They can hold up, this one's four pounds. Like, let me tell you something, your broom is four pounds or less than four pounds. All my brooms and my mops are all hooked up and ready to go without ever having to put a hole in the wall. These stickers, I got this at Canadian Tire. They are also available at Walmart. And they also have teeny tiny ones. So I put all the keys at the entrance on these bad boys with obviously a different size label. So they stick onto this and you can peel it off when you're done. So if you don't want to have this permanently in your life, you will not be ruining your walls to put up your hooks. So I kind of like that they have them for picture as well. So that's kind of really fun. Splurge Studio has the Canada Day mask and the filters that go with their masks, which are kind of great. So if you order these, Right now, I think they could probably get them to you. I'll make sure that they do if you're on the West Island, for sure. So these um, filters go on most masks can use and they sell the filters and you can insert this into the mask and have a clean filter when you go out. So looking forward to Canada Day, even though we're not gonna be necessarily having a big party, I am looking forward to the celebration. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about this morning was Mrs. Meyers Cleaners, I love this product. It's available online and it's available on uh, at Canadian Tire. They have fragrances in lavender, lilac, basil and mint, and I love the smells. What I really like is that they are household products that are aromatherapeutic, so there's aromatherapy in there, and they are organic and they are without too much chemicals. So when I clean the house, I like this. I got this at Canadian Tire and I know that they have it online. So I, you'd think I worked for Canadian Tire, but I do not. Um, I make jam. So I wanted to point out that this jar is this equivalent in, in, in yield to this jar. So that this, they're the same weight, they're the same uh, yield, like the amount of jam inside is, is, the, is the same. But these are just so much cuter. We've been doing jams. I'm just getting the size for you, two time, 12 times 250 milliliters. Yeah, millimeters, millimeters, milliliters. Oh, anyway, <laughs> don't don't go crazy, guys. But point is, is this is the traditional size. I've had these in my life for years and years and years. My parents are big jam harvesters, and we make a lot of jam, blueberry, strawberry, whatever. I just find this jar so much cuter, and it's two bucks more for a dozen. So I got that at Canadian Tire also. So yes, no, I don't work for Canadian Tire, but maybe I should have a call with them. 
I wanted to show you also my friend Janice Hilrich. She is doing these. Um, she's out of, she's out west and she actually made this. So this is a beautiful item that you can maybe consider getting ready for Christmas. You can have them made to order. So it's a good one. It's, a, it's your name is Janice Hilrich and all this information I will put in the text up above for you to see. So this is this week's version of what I enjoy and my favorite things. Have a great weekend.